Hey, this is Am I Not Merciful, and today I am going to be showing you how I do auditions for casting calls. I have had some moderate success with getting casted so far, and this will actually be helpful because you don't have to have a microphone. When I started out, I wasn't using a microphone, and because the Insignia casting call is coming out in January, I thought I would do some voices and some lines from some of the female characters in Insignia. The software I use to record and edit audios is called Audacity, and you can easily find YouTube videos that tell you how to download it, but I already had it downloaded, so I decided to skip that process. Now, if you are doing this with a microphone, you want to have it set to that microphone. I use a Samsung Go mic, so that's what I set it to. The other button you're going to need to use is your record button, which is just that little red dot at the top. And you want to do a little practice recording just to see how it works. If you sound right and there's nothing that you want to fix, like volume, then you can just go ahead and start the recording process. You can delete your practice recording and get started with the real stuff, but you do want to remember to have about three seconds, and the reason for that is you're going to need it later for your noise reduction effect. You start out with an introduction. Hi, I'm Am I Not Merciful, and this is what I do on a Saturday morning. Oh god, it's afternoon, isn't it? Now we're going to go into lines. I have my lines set in a document so that I can see them while I'm recording, and I don't have to just remember them. All of the lines are picked from the finished script of Insignia, so I'm going to start off with Riel. All of the lines I'm doing are for characters that will be featured in the casting call. Do you know what I know, Valier? I will not survive this war. The odds are stacked against me here. Riel will be a major character in Insignia. She will have lots of lines, and that's just a sample of what her voice might sound like. A nice thing about Audacity is that if you're the person who doesn't like to ramble, then you do not have to just keep talking. You can stop and start as you please. I want a life like yours, my lady but it's not mine to take. A suicide mission for the princess. I haven't tried screaming into this before, maybe that's something I should do, but I know there is a volume limit, so if you like scream or cry into it, then it may blur out and make those nasty, crackly bump sounds that people don't like in their audition. So just be careful about that. Everything I'm doing is for everyone who died. Wouldn't they want me to be happy? Wouldn't that make their stories easier? And when you screw up or you don't like how you sound, you can just delete the whole recording that you don't like. And you can do this using the scissor icon or just your delete button on your keyboard. Personally, I never like how I sound, but we're just gonna go with it for now. Everything I'm doing is for everyone who died. Wouldn't they want me to be happy? Wouldn't that make their stories easier? Then you re-listen and make sure that it sounds okay. And once you've gotten through that, then you can start with the real editing process, which will use some of the effects in the panel above. This is when you're gonna need that three seconds. So highlight it with your mouse and go into the noise reduction effect. You're gonna need to get your noise profile which is your three seconds. So just click Get Noise Profile. Then you can select the entire recording, which may take a while depending on how long it is, and go back up into Effects and select Noise Reduction again. Now it's set and you can just click OK. Now you can't really see right here, but you can see back where the three seconds was that it is so much smoother now. You can't see those bumps. Now you can take the three seconds out because you won't need it anymore. Now you get to the most time-consuming part of editing your recording, which is just taking out all the sounds that weren't taken out by noise reduction that you don't want in your audition. And there are like eight bajillion effects in that effects box up there, and I honestly don't know how to use most of them, but feel free to play around. The only two that I find myself ever using are the noise reduction and the normalize, but you won't need normalize because in an audition, you want there to be a variety in the volume of your voice as you're speaking. Normalize will put it all to the same amplitude and a lot of times you don't need that, so noise reduction is the only one I use frequently. 
Once you have your completed edited audition, then you can export it. So just go into File, Export. You can export it as an MP3 or a WAV. I usually export as WAV. That's my personal preference. Uh, you can title it whatever you want. I will not be saving this just because it is not a thing I need to save, but you can save it to your desktop or into a folder. I save mine into an auditions and lines folder, which has all of my auditions, whether I got in or not. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will have more Insignia content out really soon. Bye! And because Insignia wasn't- oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> My cat's out there. He wants to come in. I literally hate you.